If you want to learn how to adjust the latency in Ecamm Live, then watch this video. Hi, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here. If you're new to my channel, I do videos on live streaming and more recently, tips on Ecamm Live. Today, we're gonna to figure out how to adjust the latency on Ecamm Live with its built-in mic delay. Here I've got a video of a latency test. The link will be in the description below. But this is showing a bouncing ball going up and down, and we wanna compare that in and count the frames in something like a video editor to see what the delay is with the ball hitting the, the dot and the audio that's coming out and looking at the waveframe. So let's go ahead and turn this up and we can measure it. All right, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and pause this recording and I'll switch this over to my screen flow and show you the process. All right, now I'm on my screen recorder and let's go ahead and measure the latency from the video that was generated from Ecamm Live. So if I go over here and see the Ecamm Live video, I want to measure this in Final Cut Pro. So let me open up the application. Let's just go ahead and generate a new project, use automatic settings. Let's head over to that folder and drag that right in here. And you can clearly see where the waveform was created. So let's just scroll right in here and then measure. So what we want to do is just find a part where it's focused. That's good enough. So when that dot hits the bar, that's when the sound should be, should hit. So let's see. Let's run on the dot. Do that again. Wow, that's actually right on the dot. Okay, so I guess I don't have to adjust my latency uh, because earlier when I was making some videos, I noticed there was some lip sync issues, and I think it's because my recorder, which is ScreenFlow, was putting some additional processing load on my computer and it made it look like my live video had lip sync issues. So the hardware that I'm using, I'm using a Shure SM7B microphone that's going into a DBX-286. For those who aren't familiar with the DBX-286, it's a preamp that does additional processing. For me, I use it for the noise gate. So if I bypass the DBX-286, this is what it sounds like. So I'm not sure if you can hear any of the room noise right now, but if I just pause and don't talk, this is what the room noise should sound like. And using a noise gate in the, D in the DBX-286 sounds like this. I'll turn it right back on. All right, so this is with it on. I have a little bit of bass enhancement and uh, some upper frequency enhancement. It also removes the sibilants from saying S's and stuff like that. Anyways. So from my Shura SM7B going into the DBX-286S, and then it's going into the Focusrite Claret 2 Pre. And I'll have some links in my description below. So that really concludes how you can test for the latency and count for the frames. Because then what you do is you switch over to, if you do have latency and you count, but let's say it's off three frames, one, two, three, and then the waveform on the bottom here is off, then you go into Ecamm Live, go to Ecamm, Preferences. If you're on the general, click on the audio and then you can adjust the mic delay. So you can adjust it by the number of frames. Ah, and it even shows right uh, indication right here on the video, which is nice. All right, so that concludes the tutorial on how to adjust your latency or your mic delay. Uh, my microphone apparently doesn't have a mic delay. You're probably seeing it right now because I am doing a screen recording. If this video was helpful for you, hit that like button and consider subscribing on the way out. Thanks for watching.